What are the best money saving tips for 2020? I don't care what your background is, if you're having money problems and you're struggling to make ends meet every month, this video is for you. Make sure you've got your pen and paper ready because I have lots to tell you. Hey guys, it's Hit The Man here from Fortune Academy. I'm on a mission to help you manage your money better because that is one of the biggest reasons I created Fortune Academy back in 2016. So anyway, my tips, I have 10 things here and I'm gonna go through them super fast. Make sure you write them down because they're gonna really help you. Number one, I want you to actually print out your bank statement and highlight with a pen your outgoings. Let's now figure out whether these outgoings are, number two, assets or liabilities. Now, figure out what an asset is. An asset is any vehicle that is growing you wealth. That could be a rental property, that could be a Forex trading account, that could be an online business, on the assumption that you know how to trade good and also you are a good online business owner. I need you to understand the meaning behind asset and liability. And I'll be very honest, many people who are struggling with money have zero assets. An asset is something that you really have to think about before you put your money into it. Most people are living on liability. A liability is your own home, the mortgage you're paying. That is very right. People think that having a great big house and they struggle to pay this big mortgage every month is a good thing. It's actually one of the worst decisions you've ever made. So is having a car that you can't afford. So those two things are gonna be, number three, the areas that I want you to be super, super brave about. Make a brave decision about, can you afford this mortgage? Can I afford that car? If they are the two big amounts that are going out of your bank account every month, you may wanna have that difficult conversation with yourself where you sell the house, put the profit or at least some profit that you make in the house into a rental property or an asset like a Forex trading account on the basis you know how to trade, of course. So don't be afraid to downsize. Don't be afraid to sell your house and buy a rental property for someone else to pay that mortgage and give you a profit. Then you live in a smaller property, you don't have to worry about the upkeep and you can just focus on building wealth. I really think you need to consider that. On to number five, I want you to think about these additional income streams. Now, I've already mentioned rental properties, great. I've already mentioned Forex trading accounts. Like that's something I love doing through Fortune Academy. If you wanna learn, the link's below. Third way of creating income would be an e-commerce online business, like that's great too. Or any other enterprise you could do around your nine to five job or business. I don't know what situation you're in. If you're time sensitive, then definitely Forex trading is good. You can just get away with one hour a day. Remember, link below if you wanna know how to start. Property, I think it's so important. Give that time, you can still do it around your nine to five, but really build physical assets in your life. Also, don't be afraid to buy gold and silver if you have to. As long as you're buying them at the good price, then they're solid assets. They're not cash producing assets, but they're still assets that you can have. Number six, make sure all of these ventures, you don't go crazy and do everything at once. Do one thing at a time. So if it's Forex, do Forex. A few months later, once you've mastered that, go into property and then start the online business, whatever you can manage. But it's effectively a plate spinning exercise that you need to just come back to and and kind of manage as you go along. Number seven, you need to actually spend time with people that are making money. Now I guarantee many of you who are struggling with money problems are probably hanging out with people that are just worse off or maybe the same as you. That's not gonna help. Honestly, you've heard of power of association. You need to go hang out with people that actually know how to make money, are celebrating being wealthy because that's a massive mindset shift. I need you to be around those people. If you're struggling, go to free networking groups, come to a Fortune Academy event, like that's exactly what we do. So make sure you find those people and be around them and stay in touch with them every single week. Number eight, I want you to have a game plan. Now we haven't talked about debt. If you've got debt you're covering, I want you to look at, is it credit card debt? Is it a loan? Then I want you to look at the APR, like what is the interest rates you're paying on this loan? If you can, try and find a credit card that you can transfer at 0% for, I think they give you nine months, I have no idea. I haven't had a credit card for years. But ultimately, if you can manage moving your debt from a high APR to a 0% APR for a set amount of months, you should do that. But only if you've got a game plan of how to pay it off within that period. I don't want you to be in debt. Let's figure out a plan to get rid of that debt. 
and do it properly. Whether it's over a nine month or a two year period, we can find a solution. Remember, if you need help in how to set a proper 12 month goal so that your finances are managed properly by you and you're in control of what's going in and out of your bank account a lot better, then of course I can help you at the Millionaire Mindset Workshops that I do. Have a look at the links below. It's amazing. It's designed for people who want to make a lot of money in their life, but it starts with having that game plan. It's so, so powerful. Remember, without a game plan, you're not going to be focused and you're going to fall into the bad habits that got you into this position in the first place. So please do not underestimate how powerful a game plan is. Get onto it now. I covered two points there. So one of them was have a game plan and one of them was move your debt from a high APR to a more manageable lower APR or zero APR. But if you've got them, let's just not ignore them. So let's try and figure out a way of not paying such high APRs, but that comes with having this game plan, okay? So if you really need my help, then you need to be in my workshop and I'll definitely help you out on this. Last but not least, be resourceful. Like honestly, if you're struggling that bad, where's the extra job? Stop making excuses about I haven't got enough time, I can't do this. Honestly, you could become an online admin person. You know, have you heard of virtual PAs? Like you can, if you've got, I have so many people contact me on social media saying, well, I can't afford to do any more because I'm a single mom, I've got kids, I've this, or I don't know, so many other excuses. I hate the single mom like excuses, I'm sick of them, I really am. Because I think you guys have more motivation, no matter what your problem is right now, you have even more motivation to make yourself get out of it. And the way you can do that, we're living in an online world, you're watching me online right now. Just manage your time and manage your focus. Like this video is great for you, you're already on the step to becoming wealthier because you're using your time to learn good stuff. The second thing you need to do is just get focused, don't worry about the time, because honestly, if you're super focused, you'll find the time. You'll start saying no to the things that don't matter, but that's only going to happen if you're super focused. So I hope all these tips helped you because if you write them down, go over and watch this video again because I went through it super fast just because I know you haven't got all day and I don't want to spend all day talking to you about this. But of course, there is so much more detail I can go through. I'm here to help you. Click on the links below. If you want to join Fortune Academy, our mission is to make people in control of their money, to get them financially free by creating assets, by creating additional income streams, because then you can really enjoy life for what it should be. That's my mission and that's my philosophy. And that's why I really wanted you to understand these points in this video. So really thankful for you for being here and watching this. I really want to see your comments below. So message me here and I will respond to each and every one. Of course, follow me on social media. The links are below as well. And I can't wait to see you in another video. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, ring the bell because there'll be plenty more videos like this coming up. See you soon. Bye.